here are seven tips that will improve your aim in COD Mobile. We'll be starting with device and settings, to gun compatibility, all the way down to movement while aiming. So kick back, relax, cause you're in for a show. Now the size of your device affects the three key settings that enhances your aim. One which is your HUD layout. As a beginner, you will start off with a two finger HUD just like this. And as time moves on, you'll realize that you just can't keep up with players on the four to six finger HUD. You can't. Which calls for customization. So it is important to consider your device size when customizing your HUD. Why? Because your device determines whether you will be using a three finger or a four finger layout. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it really affects how comfortably and accurately you can control your aim. The second setting which is sensitivity. If you're on a small device, then I recommend you use a high sensitivity, and if you're on a large one, then use a low sensitivity. And as for the third key setting, we have camera FOV. If you're on a small device, then you shouldn't be using a high camera FOV. Here's an example. On a low FOV, as you can see, the enemy is very easy to spot, making it easy to lock your aim on him. On the other hand, using a higher camera FOV, the enemy gets quite smaller, making it harder to lock your aim on him. And if the enemy is very far away from you, then you might even struggle to spot him on a small device. Which is why I recommend 75 as your camera FOV value, as it increases your accuracy, especially in longer ranges. So my good friend here just customized his settings and he is ready for battle. Enemy spotted. Boss Creepy, you said if I customize my settings that I'll have a better aim. Why did you lie to me, Creepy? I trusted you. So after several days of analyzing his actions, I finally found his mistake. Introducing crosshair placement. Now if you noticed, he had his crosshair pointing down, which is very, very bad. Yeah, the dot in the middle of your screen? Yeah, that's, that's your crosshair. Always keep your crosshair at head to chest level and where you anticipate an enemy to appear, such as doorways, corners, or even behind you. Phew, I actually thought there would be someone behind me. <laughs> Moving on, we have pre-aiming. Now, pre-aiming is like the upgraded version of crosshair placement. Crosshair placement for anticipation, pre-aiming for preparation. You pre-aim to be prepared. Nice rhymes, man. Pre-aiming will help prepare your aim before engaging in the gunfight. It will keep you one step ahead of campers, rushers, especially in search and destroy. The next tip on our list is called gun compatibility. So the other day, I saw my teammates doing this with a shotgun. Nope. Get down, nope. Sniper. Nope. Nope. Now having a bad aim is one thing, using the wrong guns for the wrong situations is another thing. There are a lot of guns in the game for different reasons. For example, we have assault rifles like LK24, Kilo 141, Growl, which performs well in mid to long ranges. We have SMGs like Fennec, QQ9, Switchblade, which performs well in close range. We have shotguns for close range, snipers for long range. I guess? Long story short, using the right guns for the right situations can also improve your aim. Now the more guns you use, the more you realize that there is something that makes your aim go from this to this. And it's called recoil. What is recoil, I hear you ask? Well, recoil is the upward movement of the weapon's aim when firing. <gasps> Every single gun has its own recoil pattern that affects your aim. But the good news is that you can reduce the recoil by using the right attachment and also by practicing. Next up, we have tracing. Now, tracing is very important when it comes to aiming as it helps increase your accuracy when going against moving opponents. To practice tracing, go into the training room and focus on tracking moving objects or moving bots without shooting. Do that for some time, then proceed to shooting and flicking, as that will build a muscle memory on your sensitivity, which will improve your aim. 
proper tracing might be difficult to learn, especially as a beginner, which is why I'm introducing a move that will help you trace better and also give your opponent a hard time killing you. Introducing Strafing Now Strafing is a very powerful move used by a lot of pro players. Strafing can be used to become a harder target while shooting and can also be used to adjust aim placement. Now the question is, how do you strafe? First, you need to reduce your joystick for faster movement. Then while aiming, you move your joystick left or right, or left and right, depending on how it assists your aim. And don't forget to focus on aim before applying movement. If you made it this far, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.